I like the subversiveness of man. I like the fact that it was telling you that people are lying to you. Just because they're older doesn't mean they know more. Just because they're in power doesn't mean they know more. And chances are they're probably lying to you. And that always it just immediately resonated with me. To this day, I have trouble with authority. Now one of the things that we have in the office is a board that when all of the freelance writers and artists come in, they must sign or draw on. And there's some great ones here. Here's Al Jaffe. Here's Tom Bunk, Sergio Aragones, the little mariachi band, the great John Caldwell. Oh, here's Peter Cooper, who does Spy vs. Spy for us. These are pieces from the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Now this is the Bertha King. This was done a couple of years ago when Donald Trump was denying that uh, Barack Obama was born in the United States. Next to it, this is Evander Holyfield after Mike Tyson bit off his ear, so we call this Evango Holyfield, self-portrait. This is a wall that we call Celebrity Snaps. And over the years, for whatever reason, celebrities love to send in photos, and we love for them to do it, uh, of themselves, hopefully in the issue that they are in. George Bush holding up a copy of the Mad's 20 Dumbest of the Year, of which he was one of. Yeah, people ask me what it's like to work at Mad. I mean, it is a job. I mean, we come in every morning and we sit here and sometimes there's blood on the walls trying to come up with an idea or an idea that we can agree on is funny. Because some of us think something's funny and then somebody else does it and, and we're off to the races. Uh, but overall, this certainly beats um, most jobs out there. I, I don't want to work for Uber, you know. I don't want to be a Walmart greeter. I would take this job above all of that. And of course, as I like to point out, we are doing God's work. These are some of the things that are actual from the magazine. This was on the back cover, it was a front cover. The Mad Board Game, which was hugely successful. For years, it was the number two game in the country, only, second only to Monopoly, and it's a takeoff on Monopoly where you have to lose all your money to win. A lot of people who work for us stay forever, and that's primarily because no one else will hire them. You know, we, are, we offer a unique showcase for their talents, and I use the word talent very, very liberally here. Uh, so yeah, we have a very loyal, time staff. This is our 400th issue cover, and it's comprised of pieces of just about every cover we did prior to that. The current issue of AARP magazine has an article, and I think it's seven or eight of our freelancers have been with the magazine for over 50 years. So people loved just working for MAD. They also love the fact that we give them a lot of artistic freedom. We don't sideways edit scripts that come in. We don't uh, really pick apart artist work, and a lot of our artists also do advertising work, so the clients are always, oh no, you know, move that half an inch, we, we don't micromanage them like that, we want them to have fun on the page. I'll tell you the weirdest thing that ever happened to me. I was on my honeymoon, and we were in Bermuda, and we were taking this little ferry across to one of the islands there to have dinner, and there was a kid there with his parents and his little sister, and the kid had a copy of Mad, and he was reading out loud to his parents an article from MAD that I had written. What are the frickin' odds of that? 